This is not financial advice. I just hope you bought your oven, Miss Baby, because it's about to get hot in the kitchen. Now hit that like button and show your boy some love. Hit that notification button, stay tuned. Let's get straight to the point. Woo! Subscribe to the channel. And the first banger on the list is the one, the only AMC Entertainment. Take a simple AMC. And at the time of this recording, AMC is currently $33 a share, $33.50 to be exact. It's up 1.2% on a day. However, it's up over 502% this year. Let's go. Now, let's update on the call options like we always do. And it's the same as yesterday. So we up because you know they don't move on the weekend. Let's keep it real. But here we go. You got Disney, the 170 call. Basically, that one ran up 16%. But if you held on to this one, man, you way, way up on that. The Palantir put this one we got out when it was down 8%. But shout out to the Discord family for showing me at a certain point in time it was up 14% and 36%. But let's keep it going. The BNGO call option went up 58%. These are ones in the recent past. If you want to be up on the play as early as we are, hit that Discord link in the top comment. We're going to welcome you with open arms. But again, only come over there if you're ready to join the tight knit family. Other than that, I hope you bought your clown shoes. I hope you bought your idiot hat. It's time to go for a dance with the one, the only, the motley fool. Let's talk about. It, baby so now the motley fool posted an article saying this amc is better but better isn't the same thing as good what are they talking about they got three bullet points right here let's check them out and it says ticket sales are roughly one fourth of their pre-pandemic pace though partially the reason for that is because the limited number of available films so first of all let's ask a question here right Let's ask this question. Why would you make a point to immediately defeat that same point? What was the point of making it? This is like me saying, and you could tell they just got some animosity in their heart against things like AMC. But why would you make a point like that? Listen to this. Tell me if this makes sense. You know what? The sale of winter jackets is down, but it's because it's summer. What was the point of making that point, right? It makes no sense when you immediately give me the reason why. Okay, let's go to the next point. And it says, stocks are sky high, AKA this stock is sky high and the valuation remains a liability. First of all, we know this is not a fundamental play. What do we mean by that family? A fundamental play would mean, you know what? You invest into Apple because you know people wanna buy iPhone. You know people wanna buy Macs. You know people wanna buy these things, they pulling in the revenue, right? You invest into that because of the fundamentals of the company. AMC, most people are investing into it now for the short squeeze potential. And then later on after a squeeze, then we would invest into it and look at it. It's like, hmm, how's the business? How do we wanna help this business out, right? So let's keep it going. Last thing on the bottom, it says, and again, I hope you bought your idiot hat, got it nice and tight, got your clown shoes on, ready to dance with the Motley Fool. Well, let's keep it going, though. So it says, most new theatrical releases are also being offered in streaming format, creating a new sort of competition for the movie theaters. Now, again, this is a solid point if this was a fundamental play but it makes you think why do y'all keep on to stand on the back of amc and then they go even further right so let's take a look at this it says it went from sizzle like it's hot in the kitchen right to fizzling out so then why why do they say this they said when fast nine came out in june it drew patrons back to the theaters and then ticket sales were at nearly 99 million just domestically wait let's go back and see something your last point was that most new theatrical releases are also being offered in streaming format, and this is new competition for the movie theaters, but then you just told me that in June, which was not too long ago, right? In June, they were still pulling them in like you wouldn't believe with Fast 9. And then you said Black Widow led an even better weekend in July. Oh, that was just last month, right? In July, with $117 million for ticket sales in the U.S.? So you're telling me you just defeated every one of your own points in your own opening statement of your own article. This is ridiculous, family. Come on now, let's keep going through it. So it says this, things have clearly cooled off. You know what? Have you ever heard of a pandemic? Have you ever heard of a pandemic? I'm wondering, Molly Fool, have you ever heard of that? Because there's this thing going on and it's called a variant of the pandemic. And guess what? It's starting to have things closed down and having people more reluctant to go outside. So then you would see things like what you just said. Things have cooled off despite reasonably splashy titles like Jungle Cruise, Space Jam, A New Legacy, uh, Space Jam, A New Legacy, The Suicide Squad, and all these other things, right? But remember, there's a new variant called the Delta variant that is going around and then people are saying, you know what, let's just stay in the house, right? So you just explained another reason why 
you are not making any sense, Molly Fool. Come on, let's just be real. Let's keep it real. Let's keep it raw. What's going on with these articles? And it says, consumers just aren't as stoked about going to the movies as they were a month ago. So you're basing your whole identity of how you believe a company will perform based off of a month ago that's ridiculous that's absolutely ridiculous let's look at the fundamentals because we know they're getting better on amc take a look at this from third quarter all the way to now amc has been on an uptrend in terms of becoming a better fundamental company shout out to all of the apes who choose to go to amc but look at this they beat expectations they expected to get 93 percent loss on every share but they only got 71 percent or cent loss on every share come on now let's keep it real let's keep it raw amc is a banger and we ready to take it to the promised land let's look at the short squeeze data what do i mean by that the short interest baby we know that just recently it was 18.31 but now it's all the way up to 19.2 which means that there's about 100 million shares that these short sellers have to buy back and these are the legally issued shares family i'm ready for that so remember what is a short squeeze for those of you who don't understand you got a broker you got a short seller you got the market the short sellers are like hypothetically allegedly right citadel in the middle and then what they're doing is they're selling all of these shares that they borrowed into the market, but they have to buy them back so they can return them to the broker. And then all of the shares that we have in our accounts, if they keep buying all of these shares back, they're going to run us all the way up to the promised land. And some new information came out. So I want you to see this. And then shout out to whoever made this graphic because I have no idea who made it. It wasn't me. But it says institutional ownership changed according to the 13 F filings that I told you about in the previous video. And it says this, how many AMC or the dollar amount that was bought? It says it was 2.14 billion bought and only 143 million sold in Q3. What makes me interested in this is where are they getting all of these shares from? Because we own the float, but let's keep it going. I want you to notice these key levels on AMC. The first one is 29. This has been about a floor for them, according to many sources, including the chart, but also what was it benzinga they posted about this let's check it out let me see i gotta scroll through this to make sure i can find my benzinga article about it here we go so benzinga they said this they said that amc dropped slightly lower and tested an old support level of 29.45 where it used to be a support level back in 2017 and if you look at the facts that's actually the case and that's actually true so i want you to see this another support level well, actually this is a resistance now and it's 34 dollars. and then you got one all the way up at 43 dollars this is another resistance what we want to see is amc break past this 34 dollar resistance and then we could be headed right back closer to the 40s that's what we're talking about baby next bang on the list is palatir ticker symbol p l t r so you'll be asking yourself why would you run a put on it recently if you think it's a long-term banger because just like with all of these other plays you can make money on the way down you can make money on the way up but i want you to see what's going on with this company all of the great news that they had and they only went up three dollars watch the bang news that they had so currently the 24 dollars 96 cents okay you got that so they just reported their second quarter earnings they beat wall street's expectations knocked it out the park they went up 11 percent here we go take a look at this their revenue was up 49 percent from last year do you understand what i'm saying how much cash do they have on hand they doubled the cash that they have on hand great news two pieces of great news they added 20 new net customers what does that mean they have 20 new customers compared to the overall amount that they had before but their customers aren't like joe blow from down the street their customers are the big dogs like the government like the cdc like all of these kind of institutions look at this the department of health and human services they renewed an agreement with palatier this is a customer they have the cdc the center for disease control they have the company palatier basically looking up all and using their software to basically say hmm let's track all of the production on the vaccines the distribution and administration of all of it with the vaccines that's going on palantir is handling this family come on and then kathy wood who is the leader of arc invest who was on fire in 2020 she just picked up 140 million dollars worth of this and all six of her etfs and then the big dogs is loading up 5.7 million dollar buy 2.6 million dollar buy 2.1 million dollar buy and even with all of this palatier is hovering between 21 and 22 and then shot all the way up with all of this great news to 25 and then has since been struggling to get their family and i want to shout out to the people on the discord for showing me this just on friday this put option that we had 
it actually was up 36.8 percent according to the data here because palantir dropped to 24.32 on the low of the day and when was this this was about at 9 40 right after the open but you know what you can't predict the future but all you could do is stack the cards in your favor baby and i want you to see the price targets that just happened just two days ago after all of this good news on palantir this is morgan stanley they said 22 dollars and it's a city group. They said it's going to $17. They posted this two days ago, nine days ago. So now the overall price targets on this, they said $23.80. They can see this as, as a price target, but the high people shooting for the stars said $30. Personally, I think this stock is a $40 stock long-term, potentially $50 stock long-term, but the stock and the company are not always completely connected. So you wanna be on the lookout for that. So what is a good entry price in my personal opinion to get in on a company like Palantir? I would say $22, $21 range is a decent price for it to just load up on this stock. Do your own research, don't go in all at once, but if you can't handle the heat of these hot stocks, then stay out of the kitchen and consider investing in index funds. I love y'all, take care.